Hi all. Today in this session, we will check how to use T I and T one component. So let's check what is the use of T I and T one component. So for T I component, uh, we need this T I component to send some customized uh, log functionality to the output. So we would need T I function. And uh, T1 from uh, T1 component will be used if we want some customized message for uh, some kind of warning, so uh, enhanced log. So for this T1 uh, will be used. So let's check some demo how we can use T die and T1 component. And uh, normally T die and T1 component comes along with uh, T log catcher. So whatever the message is, whatever the uh, logs are getting generated for t1 and t die are being captured by t log watcher so let's check how we can use this so for that first of all what i'll do i'll use t row generator which will generate some record uh, let me make it uh, let me create a, a column called the sequencer sequence and uh, instead of string let me make it uh, integer and uh, I will use this sequence, numeric sequence. By default, uh, it is generating 100 records, so let it be. And uh, then let me use the file output delimiter in which the data will be loaded. Let's not do any modification. Let's make everything as default, whatever is there in the, let's make everything in default. Just I'll, uh, as I will be running this job multiple times. So what I'll do, I will just uncheck this through an error if the file doesn't exist. Yeah. <clears throat> then I will call tdi component. I'll pull this tdi component and uh, I will run this tdi component on based, on based on some trigger, based on some condition. So to trigger based on uh, trigger some component based on some condition. So what we have, we have this trigger functionality, uh, run if. So I'll connect this run if, and I'll connect to this trigger functionality. Okay. So uh, and uh, yeah. Now suppose I want to trigger this particular T die component when the number of records getting generated. Uh, which is getting loaded into this T output delimiter is greater than 10. Okay, so for that, if I I can I can just select on this particular link. And if you click on this particular link, you can see the condition is coming here. So my condition will be if the number of records getting generated is greater than uh, 10, uh, getting written into this is greater than 10, then T die component will get triggered. <coughs> So this is in a condition. So how I can uh, implement that? So we already have some the variables uh, uh, for each component. So we can just call that particular component. Let's see what are the global variables available here. So you can just click on this connect uh, condition and uh, click control space so that you will see the list of uh, uh, you will see the list of global variables available. If you scroll down, you can see for T output delimited, there are three uh, variables uh, available. One is error message, one is uh, file name, and one is number of line. So this, uh, I will use this uh, number of line, NB line, and I will make it uh, greater than 10. So if the number of line written into this T file output delimited is greater than uh, 10, so and then T die component will get triggered. So if we click on this T die component, you can see we have a uh, customized error that is getting generated. So the by default is the uh, end is near. So I'll just uh, modify this particular error message. Like error message number of line. is greater greater than 10 
and you can provide any particular error code let's not change this let it be 4 so this is my job so to capture the data that is being triggered and uh, that is being uh, put into t die so we will use t log row catcher t log row catcher and you can see here we can uh, t log catcher t log uh, catcher what it does it captures the it catches the error that is being uh, sent by t die component t1 component and java exception so what i'll do i'll just select this particular uh, option that is catch t die so whatever the error is being thrown from t die t log catcher will be catching them as i have selected this catch t die and then i'll use t log row to display that message into the console let's make it in tabular format so if you see uh, t die uh, t log catcher the scheme, edit schema so this is the predefined schema that it is generating so what is the PID, what is the root PID, father PID, which is the project it is running, what is the priority of it, and what is the origin from which component it is being originated, and what is the message and everything. is being. This is a predefined uh, uh, schema that uh, T log catcher has. Now you can see uh, T, row com uh, T row generated, I'm generating 100 records. And the condition that I have put here is if the number of record is greater than 10, then T die will get triggered. Now let me run this particular job. Now you can see 100 rows got generated and as the condition got satisfied, uh, it became true. And the error that is being flown into T die is being uh, cast by T log catcher, and we are displaying that in T log row. Let's see what is the message here. You can see the error message that is being thrown by uh, is this is the customized error that we have uh, produced. Error message number of lines written to the file is greater than 10, and this is the output of uh, uh, T log catcher. So it contains the moment at which particular time this error was generated. What is the PID? What is the project we are using? Uh, which job is being called? And uh, this is for, type means this is for which component like T die we have used. And what is the error message? Error message number of line written to the file is greater than 10 and the error code is four. So this error code four is what we have mentioned in T die error code. So if you change this to uh, 10, then you will see this uh, will become, will be changed to 10. Let me run this. So now you can see everything is same, only the error code uh, um, got changed to 10. So if this is getting triggered, so the job is uh, uh, job will get uh, failed, the T type component will be called and it will be failing. Now, if I don't want to fail the job and I want to, uh, if I don't want to fail the job, I want to put some warning based on some condition. So what I'll be using, I'll be using T warn component. So let's see how to pull T one component. But before using T one component, let me check one more activity. So here we are generating hundred rows. So here I will make it four rows. So which is instead of generating hundred rows, I'll generate only four rows. So the four rows means it is the condition should not meet as a number of line written into T file output, we have mentioned as four, so it should not meet. Now let's run this. Now if you run this, you can see uh, it is false. So the uh, 
it is a uh, false it is not getting a uh, trigger t die component is not getting triggered so nothing is being displayed here now let's check how to use t1 component so pull that t1 component and here we will use trigger run if with a condition i'll uh, simply try to call this t1 component the way i call for t die component so now here if i want to uh, trigger this particular t1 in case the number of record is getting generated is 4 now you can see here i have mentioned the number of records to get generated is 4 so in case the number of record getting generated is 4 then i should be triggering this t1 component now for that what i'll do i'll just click on control uh, space so that my global variable will get called it will be visible then i will scroll down and check for t output delimited number of lines and uh, let me uh, put the condition as smaller than 10 okay now in t1 what i will write i will write the messages warning messages number of lines written into file is this then 10 and this is a, a error code it is by default generating we can modify this so now let's run this so now you can see as the number of rows getting generated is four so here we have the condition as in t type we have the condition as if the number of uh, record getting written into this t file output is greater than 10 that t type will get triggered so as this condition doesn't satisfy you can see the false is there so t type component is not getting triggered now the second condition comes which says it is true that means as a number of record getting written into t file output delimited is less than 10 so t1 is getting generated but if you see it is not getting displayed anything here so why it is not getting displayed because we need to do some more uh, modification in t log catcher if you go to t log catcher component here i need to check this catch t1 also so whatever the message is getting generated from t1 that will also be cached in this t1 component so now let me run this now you can see as the t1 component flow is getting uh, triggered with this condition is true so one row is getting generated here and what is the warning i'm getting here you can see the component type is uh, t1 and what is the component name t1 underscore one and the message that i'm getting is warning message number of lines written into the file is less than 10 and the code is 42. so we can also modify the code as per our convenience so this is how we can send customized uh, messages uh, warning messages or error messages to the output. Hope this session is helpful. If it is informative, then please like and share the video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.